Meanwhile, this a heated exchange on Capitol Hill after Education Secretary Miguel Cardona refuses to say how many genders there are. Watch this. Before we start penalizing teachers for stating a genetic and biological fact about genders, can you please clarify for the committee how many genders there are? So I, I know what you're asking, but I'm going to get to the root of what you're asking. I feel very strongly that as educators, we are, it's our responsibility to protect all students. You, you used as an example of harassment a teacher who stated there are only two genders, male and female. That's a genetic and biological fact. That is an example you are you're under your leadership that you are putting out to people. How many genders are there? How would you uh, respond to a student who uh, is non-binary in your classroom? But how many genders are there? Will you please stay? I won't be answering your question. You can continue the line of question. All right. Congresswoman Mary Miller of Illinois was the one asking this question. She joins us now live on National Report. Congressman, thanks for coming on today. What did you make of his non-answer there? Well, I'm not surprised. I think when the Democrats are asked to be transparent or to give account for their legislation or what they're pushing on the American people, they either deflect, they lie, they vilify the person answering, asking, or like we saw to, in that exchange, they refuse to answer. Why did you think it was so important to ask that question, to try to get an answer as to where he stood on, on just gender in American classrooms? Well, it's under his leadership as Secretary of Education that they've released this resource as a guideline to schools. Um, and it's called uh, harassment of LGBTQI plus students. And they used an example of a teacher telling students that there's two genders. And, you know, it's truly shocking the position that they're taking and it's, you know, he, I, I reminded him that he's on the wrong side of the issue. Americans want their girls, their daughters to be feel safe in private spaces, bathrooms and locker rooms. And, you know, we want to preserve girls athletics. Title IX was established to give girls and women athletic opportunities. And when sex is referred to in Title IX, I guarantee you that they meant biological and genetic. You know, we've we've covered viral moments, quite frankly, of parents attending school board meetings, speaking out specifically mm -hmm. about the discussions of pronouns, pronoun usage in the classroom, also critical race theory as well. We've seen some states like Florida, yeah. the governor there, Ron DeSantis, essentially banning these lessons from being taught in uh, in these schools, not taught overall in coll collegiate yes. levels, but in, in these elementary schools, quite frankly. Um, do you see something similar happening in Illinois? Have you heard from parents who oh. would speak out against CRT? Definitely. I hear from parents all the time. I'm the mom of seven children and the grandma of 17. I've been highly involved in education at different levels. Parents are complaining. Teachers, I've had lifetime teachers come up to me, career educators that say they love what they're doing but they are gonna to refuse to teach some of these things. They sadly tell me they're gonna to have to resign. I've had um, administrators, regional superintendents of schools say that they are not going to allow this to come into the schools. And number one, it, you know, the American people don't want this, but I know from experience, there's not enough time in the day to get to the core subjects. And that's what we want our children to have. We've also heard, speaking of kids heading back to the classroom, they might be out for summer vacation now, but the CDC is still recommending that children who are ineligible to get the COVID vaccine, they should keep wearing those face masks. Do you believe that kids should keep wearing masks when they head back to the classroom in the fall? Well, I think it's up to each parent what they want to do, but I don't think it should be enforced, no. And also the topic of COVID vaccinations, too, maybe more yes. at the college level. We've seen some colleges require that for fall admission. What do you think about that requirement? Well, I support freedom, so I think people should be free to make their own medical choices. All right. Well, we'll leave it at that. Congresswoman yep. Mary Miller joining us live from the great state of Illinois. Thank Congresswoman, you. thank you. We appreciate it. 
Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.